boys, girls, it's Brad at my way, and uh, we're making progress again tonight on the 68XL. I just wanted to go a little over the process that I went through. I want to give a, a head up and a thank you to Fitzy Fabrications on YouTube, and uh, as well, Bad Chad used uh, some of both of their methods and that to get through my issues with um, with with MIG welding, butt welding, sheet metal with MIG and uh, you know the process and the patience basically it's the patience so I'm not a pro at it yet um, but I made my first attempt today to do as Fitzy and DD and several other guys on YouTube have shown where you would take these quarter patch panels that I had um, after much fitting and you know all the restoration of the underside of the car here I finally get to put them on um, so I went and I, I drilled I drilled all the the perimeters with with holes plug welded everything it was originally all spot weld um, I don't have a spot welder. I almost was tempted to buy one. But as you see there, I did I did plug welding. So I drilled the outer surface and left the inner intact. Grind both. Uh, weld through primer. Um, you know, I already had that stuff painted, but then I ground it. Um, then weld through primer. This is on the on the back side on the. Uh, trunk drops and that anyway so plug welding um, same plug welding I've already ground these actually I've already ground a few up here um, but the old butt, butt welding so um, Fitzy and others show me to take this panel I welded that spotted that right onto the outside of my car um, I had it you know a layer too thick there right and so basically you take and uh, and uh, you spot that on there every six inches um, now I'm down to about three or four but initially I had about a six inch pattern going all the way, way down the quarter panel and I just had that stitched on there I did my plug welds and everything on the bottom and on the back and some around the wheel well to keep it good and solid there. Then I started cutting up here, up the front, so that I could get the panel to actually move in. Weld, 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 until I get up to the top here. And then I have it laying on top, so like I didn't do this last one or two because, you know, the layer there. So once I got the corner here, which you can see I buggered up, I went you know, I don't know, sometimes the grinder gets crazy. Anyway, I made a little extra cut there that I'll fix up later. Um, but anyway, so you grind three, four inches only, cut with your with your grinder at a nice angle like this, down into the, in, right, right on the top of your, your new panel. Um, so that once the metal goes in, that leaves you with a pretty tight fitting seam there as you can see some of mine are areas are not so tight like this is not you know a little bit here and here and there but um mainly i i got it going on pretty good there and uh was able to then grind six inches weld at three and it basically naturally wants to sit level at that point so grind six, weld at three, grind another six. And so in between, I'm taking my, my surfacer and cleaning so that I got a good spot to weld. Cut six, spot at three, cut six, spot at three. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So once we get to the end of the whole deal here, we got everything, you know, so then I ended up here, you know, I had to cut down and into this, a little corner down here to get that panel to sit in right there and so this is how it initially 
sat here so there'll be actually a plug weld here and here yet there's structure inside where that plugs onto and then the rest of this was actually welded right here in this corner and then dressed up so I'll do the same and uh, as you can see the plug welds down the back side there and so anyway what we end up with here so on the inside then you got this strip because you've overlapped you've overlapped your metal so now you got this this strip of metal I'm gonna pull it out and show it to you guys so here it is it's roughly uh, well roughly it's eight feet long it's the same length as that quarter panel so uh, what I did there was as we welded then I'm cutting 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 and that piece then that strip becomes loose and I was able to just pull that right out the back end here and you see the the back corner and everything here where I, I cut that yeah. and back in here anyway yeah, so thank you Fitzy thank you DD thank you bad Chad all the guys that make my life a little bit easier the experience always uh, rules, right? So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for being a part of My Way Rods and Restorations. And if you haven't already subscribed, maybe you want to do so and turn on your little notifications bell at the bottom so that when I do make videos, you can view them. They're not exciting, but you might learn something from it. Maybe not. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and as usual, take care.